town and uh, yeah, I won the Kitten <laughs> Football Netball Club raffle last year. First prize. We won it. We, well, yeah, but I won. We it. won, but Tam <laughs> likes to remind me that we did buy a couple of tickets, but hers was actually the winning ticket. So technically, it's her car yep. and caravan, uh, and yeah. it's this amazing beast here. Yeah, and a family caravan, and it was pretty amazing. Um, I guess, of course, it is. But I think I was in shock for about three months. I'm still in shock. I know. It's like we a s year and a bit, no, almost a year later. Yeah. And I still actually can't believe it. Like when I look yeah. at this car and when we, even when I drive the car, I'm like, we want this car. I know. <laughs> we, are, we sit there sometimes driving and go, can you believe this is our car? <laughs> and he'll go, no. Never had a new car in our lives, of course. <laughs> this is um, so it's pretty amazing. We would never normally be we would never be able to afford a brand new car. So this has um, been pretty life changing, actually. I would say, and we were able to do a really big trip, um, sort of up through Uluru, and actually really tested out the van and took it for driving, and um, the kids loved it. It was so incredible. But we've also been up the coast to Hat Head. We've used it a few times. Yeah, in um, a year we've been like a week in Ocean Grove. Yeah. We've done two trips. To, yeah. No, one trip to Hat Head. Um, yeah. We did have an old broken down Jayco before this um, that was kind of on its last legs and we're still using that. Yeah. Um, so we were into caravanning. So it was kind of the most amazing prize I'm into yet. I mean, it's still, yeah, I'm thinking about it and I still can't believe it. Yeah. We won a car and a family caravan. I know. And the caravan's like, we've got two kids and it sleeps two kids, so it was kind of like the perfect, perfect. fit for us. Um, yeah. Couldn't have been better. Yeah. And so the night was pretty surreal, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. It was actually Dave's birthday and um, we were out in Heathcote and we'd just been out to lunch at a fancy place and we'd had a few wines and we're hopeless so we were sleeping actually and we we're staying the um, night there for a week yeah away. so we were like, let's just have a nap grandma had the kids yeah and um <laughs> and then i sort of put my phone on silent and then i woke up and i could see there were all these phone calls and i think it said um this is jody from the football club please call me and i just started so making was, a weird sound. I was, was lying there. I was asleep and then I heard the Tam kind of start like, I was going, like oh listen to a message God, oh and then God. she like started crying and I had no idea <laughs> what's going on except then I heard her say the word raffle and say the word football club and I was woke up and I was like what is going on? What are you talking I know, about? He was, and yeah. of course you think mm. oh we might just have we won the third prize like which was I know the second prize was a motor mower the third yeah. prize, I'm not sure what it was, but I was like, wow, yeah. that would be so amazing. I mean, I've never won a meat raffle, so I would yeah, have been me happy with trade meat. Um, and then Tam was ap actually crying, like completely bawling right oh, yeah. out. Yeah. And, Terrible. and I just yeah. was like, came wide awake pretty quickly going, what the hell's going on here? And then yeah. you, you told me. And they said, get down here. You won, <laughs> you won the car and caravan. And I was like, oh my God. And so I was like, Dave, can you drive? I'm a mess, um, crying, like, can't believe it. And then um, we were trying to get in contact with the kids and um, because grandma was looking after them, we knew that they were at Donkey. And uh, so grandma didn't answer her phone. So we called Donkey and said, you know, can you tell grandma to call us? I was still crying through this I was whole still crying, experience. hopeless. <laughs> And um, and then I think the girls' football club team were in there, and um, so that we told the kids, and the kids all said, "We want the car and the car!" And you yelled it out, and the football, the girls' football team said, "Yay!" <laughs> and then we met at the same time um, at the club. No, so. I, I will never forget for some time. I will never forget that no. experience. We got there, and still, it is so surreal. Like we didn't think it was real. It's still. When I think back to that night, it doesn't actually seem no. real. But we got there and we saw the car and we saw the caravan and we went and looked at them and we were just like, it, it was, I mean, it's been a life changing thing for us. Yeah. It actually has changed our lives. Like the holidays we've had, the experiences we've mm. had. Yeah. Um, people stay in the van here at home. Like if parents are visiting or whatever, we don't really have much room in the house. So they, mm. we use it yeah, for that as well. Room. It's a spare room. It's a COVID room. Done a bit of isolating in there. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
So <laughs> yeah, it's really it's probably uh, more yeah. you know more comfortable in our house. Mm. Yeah, we, we went on one um, major trip. Well, not that long. We went away for three or four weeks um, up to Central Australia and uh, went up through. Um, South Australia on the way there, went to Coober Pedy, spent a few nights just camping in the desert, just randomly. That's the other thing about a van, you can just pull over and kind of yeah, stay wherever well. you want, yeah. especially up there, light a fire. Easy um, bush camping. Yeah, just, yeah, just everything works. Yeah. It's so great. Yeah, not, yeah. not much set up, which mm -hmm. makes it very, very um, enjoyable. Mm -hmm. And so we also went to Uluru on our trip and um, was the most amazing thing because we pulled into where how many k's from home maybe close two and a half thousand kilometers from Kyneton um drove into the campsite and who did we see but Jody from the Kyneton Football Network Club <laughs> and Travis and another couple that they know from Kyneton literally next door to us in the campground <laughs> in Uluru and they're like obviously they recognize the van pretty quickly and they're like oh my god you guys, what are you doing? What the hell? And we're like, what the? What's going on? This is yeah. the most amazing thing ever. So we were literally camped next door to them, and which was awesome. And we hung out, obviously had a few beers, but to see them up there, and uh, uh, the, yeah. I mean the coincidence, the chance event was just. No. And especially remote. we'd had a really big day driving. Yeah, like ten hours. That was like a ten-hour yeah. day, and you know you're backing in, and Dave's like, I can't see, and I'm like, I don't know. You know, you're doing all that, <laughs> and then Travis said. Did you win that in a raffle? And I was like, what? And then like, we're in all the room. So, yeah. <laughs> we're a long yeah. way from home. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, weird, weird Amazing. set of yeah. events, really. Yeah. Um, but so, like, after, and then we went on that trip, we went to um, the McDonald Ranges, traveled around there for a few nights, mm -hmm. Uluru, Kings Canyon. Uh, went to Alice Springs, went to Udnudata Track. And then back on the Udnudata mm. Track. So, yeah, had the most amazing yeah. trip. Kids had an amazing time. And the, probably the most memorable nights were um, just pulling over somewhere randomly, like on the Udnudata Track, yep. finding some firewood, cooking dinner on the fire, yep. and just being able to sleep in the van. And it's so comfortable, you know, you have yeah. a bathroom in there. Yeah. Which is. Kids still. love the toilet. <laughs> been absolutely life-changing and uh yeah continues to be so and we're just yeah. planning heaps of other trips we just want to use this thing while the kids are um mm. the age where they enjoy traveling with us because in a few more years they'll probably be, we don't want to come camping with you guys yeah. And dorks yeah and um so but we've got a few more years of that and we just want to use this van and and mm. amazing tow vehicle mm. like the best mm. car in the world yeah and um just get out there and so uh, the last day of the raffle was the day um, that the kids got their awards and um, Fra Francis has um, been so well supported and with the coaches and he's a shy kid and you know he's you know really grown over that time and he won most courageous and um, it just is like such a boost for him and for him to be seen by the coaches because sometimes people see your kids differently obviously to the way you do also they see things in them and that has been such an amazing thing for Francis and so I was feeling all warm and fuzzy after that and uh, they had some tickets left so this was the day of the raffle and um, so I'd already we'd already purchased tickets. Two. We bought two yeah, already... during the season. Mm, and I just thought, oh look, this is just the best thing, and um, the club has been the best thing um, for our family actually. And you know, Dave's really involved, um, enjoyed getting involved. Mm. Um, and so I actually purchased it on the day of the raffle, that ticket that we won with. Yeah. So it's never too late. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll probably do the same again this year. Yeah, it like might, we'll might have to be a ritual if there's during tickets During the season, left. and then maybe one. <laughs> and then on one the on the day of the raffle. <laughs> Not that we want to win the raffle twice, that would No, be that would really be weird. wrong and awkward. <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is, get yourself a ticket for the raffle this year. We did last year. We won. We still can't believe it. Yeah. Just buy a ticket. And it's a it great might be club. you this year. Yeah, you're supporting a great club also that do great things. So get in it. <laughs>